G'day four wheel drivers. Today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to hook up the Illuminator wiring harness to your LED driving lights or LED light bars in just a couple of minutes. Now if you've got a negatively switched vehicle like a new Toyota Hilux or Land Cruiser, then stick around, because at the end I'm gonna show you how you can make this work for your vehicle really easily. Now step one, we're gonna put this down and check out what's in the box. So inside you'll find the whole harness bundled up and ready to go, plus you've got two piggyback connectors which will suit a H4 or HB3 style plug, as well as a spare relay which you can chuck in the shed or the glove box. Now once you've unpacked everything, it's time to check which of these headlight adapters will suit your vehicle. So on this GU Patrol, we've got the H4 style plug, which means we can hang on to this one and head back to the wiring harness. Your next step is to sort out where you're going to run your wiring. It's best to keep it neat and out of the way of any moving parts or hot areas like your exhaust manifold, turbo or engine block. Now once you've laid out your wiring, pull out your fuse and you're ready to start. First we'll hook up the negative wire, that's the black one, to the negative terminal of the battery. Don't just put it anywhere, make it look neat and tuck it out of harm's way, then make sure it's solid and not going to vibrate loose. You don't want wires to loosen and fall off when you're relying on your lights on a dark track or worse, short out and spark. Even if you've removed the fuse, you can leave the red positive wire disconnected for the moment. But just make sure you've left enough length to reach that positive battery terminal. Now run these wires to a suitable place to mount the relay. This little fella is your relay and it should always be mounted upright and out of the way of mud and water if you can help it. I'm going to mount it up high on the inside of the guard here using an existing bolt. So I've just quickly unscrewed this bolt, I've whacked the relay in, now I'm going to tighten it up nice and tight so again it doesn't vibrate loose. Now coming from your relay you're going to have three main wiring runs and first up we're going to grab the one which has the two male Deutsch plugs which will suit each of your LED driving lights. If you have a harness to suit an LED light bar it'll just have the one plug. At Full Drive Supercenter our entire range of light bars and driving lights are already fitted with a female Deutsch plug so you could even connect two light bars to a driving light harness if you wanted. So the next wire you're going to grab from your relay is this one with the white plug now you're going to connect that headlight adapter that you identified before straight in like that. So you're going to simply unplug the wiring from the back of your headlight and place this piggyback adapter in line. First up, you're going to place this male part into the existing wiring and then this female part goes into the back of your headlight. Now next you're going to go back to your relay and grab the last wire which is going to be connected to this rocker switch with a black, red and white wire. Now we're going to need to disconnect those so make sure you take note of which terminal is connected to which wire. So the black wire is going to go to pin 8, the red wire to pin 2 and the white wire to pin 3. Now we're going to need to get these three wires through the firewall and into your cabin and a really easy way to do that is follow some existing wiring, find the rubber grommet and poke them through. Here's an even better tip, grab an old metal coat hanger push it through from the inside, then you're going to tape these wires straight to it so you can pull that coat hanger through and make it a whole lot easier than trying to get your hand up and under the dash. Alright, so we've hooked up the switch, the final thing to do is just double check all your wiring is neat and tidy, grab a couple of cable ties, make sure things are out of the way, easy as pie like that. The last thing we're going to do, loosen off that positive battery terminal, whack on your main lead, easy does it like that. Again, make sure it's nice and tight, you don't want it to vibrate loose. Now as an example, we're going to hook up one of these 9 inch round illuminated driving lights and see how our handiwork pans out. Righto, so that fuse is back in, that means everything's connected. I'm going to lean in, turn them on. How good is that? Super easy. Now if you're still not getting any light after hooking everything up, double check all your connections. If still nothing, you might have a negatively switched vehicle. If that's the case, what we're going to do is pull out that fuse first of all, just to be safe. Then the second thing I'm going to get you to do is remove the piggyback adapter connected to your headlight. So that's just this little piece in here. If I can get it out, here we go. That's all you need there. We're going to take this over to the bench, have a bit of a play around. All you'll need is a little flat blade screwdriver and you're in business. Pop out all the terminals like so, insert the tip down these slots and gently lever the small tab back. Pull the terminal and it should pop right out. Do that for all six terminals and then you'll need to pop them back in in a different order. Use your screwdriver to fold the tabs back out a little if they're flat and then add them back in like so. If we're looking at the male plug, that's this one here, the red wire will be at the top, black will be on the left and white will be on the right. On the opposite plug, that's the female one, you'll need to connect the same terminals like so. Red will be at the top and black and white should stay on the same sides. Don't cross them over, just like this. 
Once that's done, you're ready to pop it back onto your vehicle, add the fuse back in and give it a go.